In this video, we are going to look at how we can integrate QAI with Gemini Pro, which is free. And this will help us save costs as compared to using Open AI API key. And we are also going to look at how we can integrate open source models from Hugging Face. So with this approach, we can use any open source model aside using Olama. So we are going to build a use cases for these two approaches. We are going to generate a two distinct variation of a code email promoting a video editing solution in the marketing space. All right, so let's get into the VS Code. So we are going to need the to install these packages in the requirement.txt. We are going to install the QAI, the DuckDuckGo search to perform a set to create a set tool. We are going to need the Hacky Face Hub, and we are going to need Langchain Google Gen AI to get our Gemini Pro model. All right, so let's get into it. So we are going to start with the Gemini Pro model with the QAI. AI. So before we do that, you need to install this requirement. All right, so when you go to your terminal, pull this up and you can type pip install as a requirement txt so when you hit enter it should install all the necessary requirements to run this application i already have that installed so what we are going to know look first is look at the gemini pro with the crew ai okay so I've already run this. So I'm going to walk you through this step by step. So we will need to import OS. We will need to get, so from Langchain Google Gen AI, we import the chat Google Generative AI. So this will help us connect to the Gemini Pro model. And we are going to import the crew AI. So we import the agent, the task, queue, and the processes, the process. So from langchain.tools, we import the DuckDuckGo search run. And we create a Gemini Pro model. So we create a variable and we pass these parameters. So we pass the model to be Gemini Pro. The variables is equal to true to track the application, how it's running to print um, history for us and see how it's executing and the temperature is equal to 0 0.5 so you can change this per your need and the google api key so this is how you can get your api key so when you go to the makersuit.google.com and you go to create api key in new project when you click on it it's pretty simple it should get you to create an API key straight away. I've already created my API key. So you can copy that and you paste it in here and you create a two search. So you set up two search that you want the agent to use. So you say two search is equal to that, that code search run. So the search run will perform through the DuckDuck search go run engine. All right, and we define the agent. So we are creating the agent as the author. And we have three agents, the agent, the email author, and the market strategist, and the content specialist. Okay, so we want to create a um, two distinct emails, the code emails to promote a video editing solution. So we are assigning these agents to help us do that. And we are saying that for the email author, we are saying professional, the role is a professional email author. The goal is to create concise and engaging emails. And the backstory is experienced in writing impactful 
marketing emails. So we are passing the boss call to true to track the conversation and allow delegation. So if you want to allow delegation, you can say true. Otherwise, you keep it as it is and you pass the LLM is equal to LLM. So in here, we are passing the LLM model that you've created here through the chat Google Generative AI. And if you want to use a tool, you pass the tool search in here. And the next thing is, the next thing is to pass. Okay, so it's the marketing strategies. Is so we are signing the role to the marketing specialist, who is the goal is to lead the team in creating effective code emails, and the backstory is a seasoned chief marketing officer with a keen eye for stand for standout marketing content, and we are saying verbal equal to true. And we can assign a, a delegation to be true. So it means that it can delegate any agent and assign a tax to, and we pass the LLM. So in here, we are not passing any tool search. All right, so the next thing is we assign a content specialist as an agent, and we give it a role to content specialist. Goal is to critic and refine email content. And the backstory is a professional copy writer with a, with a world of experience in persuasive writing. And we are allowing delegation. It's, we are not allowed delegation, so it's called to force and we are passing the LLM. And we define the task. The email task is the description. We generate two distinct variation of a code email promoting a video editing solution. And we want to evaluate the written email for their effectiveness and engagement and scrutinize the emails for grammatical correction and clarity. So we want to adjust the email to align with the best practices for the code outreach. So you consider feedback provided to the marketing strategies. So revise the email based on all feedback, creating two final versions. And we are giving passing that to the marketing strategies. So who is in charge and can delegate? Okay, so we create a single crew and we say email crew. So we pass all the agents into the crew to form the crew and we assign the tax to be to the email task that we've created up here. All right, and we are saying the variables cause is true. The process is process.sequential, means that one step is going to finish and the other step tax will follow. And we print execution flow, print crew working on email task. And we are saying that email queue is dot kick off to run. The, all right, so I've already run that. So let me pin that up. Okay, this one. Okay. All right, so let me show you the output. All right, this seems pretty straightforward. So with this idea, you can build powerful agent. Um, okay, so we say it's crew working on ebo task, working agent is the marketing strategist who can delegate and started the task and writing the tax. They generate two distinct variations, right? And revise the email based on all feedback. All right, so we started ex executing it. And because Febrous was equal to true, it's giving us the breakdown of the execution. This is entering new crew agent executor chain. Do I need to use a two? No. Final answer here two distinct variations of the code email promoting a video editing solution along with the evaluation of the effectiveness and the engagement. So it's giving me the first variation. So elevate your videos with our cutting edge editing solution. So it has the body and it says the recipient name, 
I hope this email finds you well. So I'm reaching out to introduce you to video editing. The name, the revolutionary tool that will transform your video editing. All right, so let's see. It's giving some bulletin here. Edit videos with ease. And the last part is we are confident that the video editing solution name will help you create videos that will engage your audience and leave a lasting impression to learn more about, please. All right, this looks cool. And this is the second variation. Unleash your creativity with our video editing solution. Sign in the body of the email. Are you looking for a video editing solution that will help you unleash your creativity and create stunning videos? Look no further than the video editing solution name. All right, it's, it is awesome. So this is the performance of Gemini Pro with the QAI, and it's giving a very great um, output. All right, and say how it's evaluating it. Evaluation, both email variations are effective in promoting the video editing solution. They are clear, concise, and highlight the key benefits of the software. However, email variation two is slightly more engaging as it uses more active language and includes a call to action. Uh, so it's actually giving me the one, um, the best out of the two variations. All right, and it's saying that email variation two is slightly more engaging as it uses more active language and includes a call to action. Sign up for a free trial. So as you can see, I think it's giving me, uh, all right, so this is the final output. I think it's the same thing. And it says the variation two is very engaging. Okay. All right. All right, so it says, so this is the variation two, which is given, um, which is producing the most effective email and the recommended email. All right. Okay, so that's awesome. And it's saying recommendation to improve the effectiveness of both emails. I would recommend personalizing them by including recipient's name and company in the body of the email. Finally, I would recommend including a link to a video demo or tutorial so that recipients can see the software in action. I believe that these changes would make the email more effective. Guys, this is awesome. All right, all right, this is great. All right, so the next approach is, let's look at the Hugging Face approach, where we are going to download models from Hugging Face. Okay, so it's the same procedure as the Gemini Pro setup, but this one we are using the OS.environment. We are saying Hugging Face Hub API token and we are passing our API token. I'm gonna to show you how you can get that. API. So when you go in here, you go to settings, you go to access tokens, right? And you go to access tokens and you come here and you can copy your API. API key, all right, and you paste it in here, okay? And now, so we need to, the only change is, uh, so from Langchain community.llm, you will import the Hacky Face app. So we need the repo ID. So here you can paste in whatever model that you wanna use. So I'm gonna show you how that is done. So we go back. All right, so you can come here and set for model, design model. Okay, in here, I'm using the Mistral 7B instruct, so we just copy this and you paste it in here. All right, so the LLM is equal to the hanging face up. 
right? So with this, so in the lang chain documentation, this is how you do it. You go in here and you can copy the whole code here, the hacking face up with your repo ID. Okay, okay, so the repo ID is equal to the menstrual model and the model quad we pass in the temperature 0 0.5, the maximum tokens that you want to assign. And this set, this set tool is equal to the that, that code search run. It's basically the same procedure, the email author, and we pass the marketing strategies, and we pass our content specialist and the email task. All right, so when we run it, this is the output. Pull this up and show you. Okay, so with the open source model, it's not accurate as the Gemini Pro, but it has some performance level. So you can say in the marketing strategy, marketing strategies, you generate two distinct variables, um, variations of a code email. And let's see how it executes. And it says, do I need to use a tool? No special answer. Transform your videos with a pro edition. So it's giving a variation, the first variation. So I title of Medicare video that fail to capture your audience attention. Our professional video editing solution can help you create standing high quality video that leave a lasting impression. All right, I asked for two variations. It gave me uh, just one variation, which is which is not as, um, as it should perform as compared to the Gemini Pro. And it says that tax one is variation, transform your videos. All right, I have some limitation with that. So one thing you can do is to play with other models and see how it performs. Okay, All right. Okay, so you can just go into the hugging phase models and you can just go in here, you can just look set for a model, like uh, you can do the Mixtral 87B. You can just copy that and try out how it's gonna perform. All right, guys, so this is what I wanted to show you. This was what I wanted to show you. Um, so do play around with it. I'm gonna attach the code in my GitHub. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. See you in the next one.